So yeah, man, who can who can survive that, man? Like that's like climbing Mount Everest. And niggas don't climb mountains. <laughs> like climbing Mount Everest, man. But I'm going to do the best that I can. I'm not going to give up. You know, my trucker, Max, don't give up. If you've been following me from the beginning, or if you late coming to my channel, I don't know if my channel's dead or not. Because it's been three years, people are going to other channels and different things. And I'm old news. That's okay. I'm fine with that. I This video is a purpose for you, me to explain, to update where I've been, how I've been doing, and to also educate you guys. While I'm gone, I might be dead, I might be going away, but you can take something from this. You guys can take what I've been going through to say, hey, I ain't been working out. I ain't been eating right. I, I can make a change. Hey, you need to make a change. You need to make a change in your life. If you've been working out, eating right, that's the way to go. This is a walk out, workout culture. Everybody works out. Why ain't you working out? I mean, you guys are on OTR, driving, you making your money, but what's the aftermath of you making your money when you're, when you're, when you're um, unhealthy and out of shape? And some of you scared to see the doctor. Can't be scared, man. I never ran away from this. I took this head on. I took this head on. I never ran from this, man. I never ran from anything. It, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it but try to do the best I can. And if my best ain't good enough, then I guess I see you on the other side. But until then, I'm going to fight for myself. Like, It's very devastating to me. I'm like, let me tap in with my guys. Like somebody asked me in the comment, like, are you ever going to come back? We want you back. And all the positive feedback that I get from people. And I'm sitting here looking at this. And I'm like, damn. People really fuck with me like that. And I see how people with millions of followers and people with um, uh, a lot of subscribers or whatever. That mean people fuck with you. So I know how that feel. Even though I have a low number of channel. Hey man, this is a lot for me. And I love all you guys, man. I don't care if you don't like my video, I still love you. I love all my truck drivers, man. I love trucking, and I'm never going to truck again. This is it right here. This, this is the end. It's the end of the world. I just wanted to tap into you guys, man. I want to help you guys. Because I can't help myself at this point. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Of course, I'm going to try to help myself. And I'm going to try to do other videos. I'm going I'm to try to do videos on my journeys and to the doctors and see the process. Because I'm sure some of you out there are going through some shit. And you can't be scared to see the doctor. You got to go get some doctor. You got to get you some insurance. Some people don't even have insurance. Some of my family don't even have insurance. Well, how do you not have insurance? What you think this is a game? And black folks are like really prone to diseases. 
when you go to the hospitals and nurse homes, you see a lot of black people. We are prone to diseases and sickness because you're not taking care of yourself. You want to keep eating fried chicken and macaroni and, and, and yams and, and, and hog mog and chitlins and all this bullshit. You're not a slave. They did that because they were slaves and they didn't do have anything to eat. That's the only thing that master allowed them to eat at the time. The scraps. That's where that come from. You're not a slave, man. You out here. I just try to... I didn't get upset. I got upset the first time when I had cancer. I was so shocked. I was so devastated, man. And I cried, of course. I'm not afraid of crying. I thought I was going to die just because I saw everybody around me die of cancer. And my number was next. But God has been good to me. God has been good to me, man. I had a good life. I might have not done everything I was supposed to do or wanted to do, but I lived a good life, man. I don't have no complaints. I should have listened when people was trying to pull me into the gym. Hey, man, come work out with us, bro. That's when I was three. <laughs> I was... My highest weight was 362 pounds. I fat as fuck. That's when I was starting truck driving. I was 362 pounds. And now I'm 215 pounds. I lost so much weight because of cancer. I went 215 pounds since 2000. And Two. Yeah. I had a 77 Cutlass on Danes. Hello. And it was going down. I was up in Detroit all the time. And fucking the hoes in Detroit. And going to strip clubs. Me and my dude. We was bought. Meat coats and Cartier glasses. And we was having a good time back then. That was one of my best times in my life. I was skinny and I felt good about myself. I didn't feel good about myself when I was fat. I'm not gonna lie to you. It wasn't the same. The reception from the females wasn't the same. I was on all these medications. I was on all these medications when I was big. Now I'm only on two medications. What? Hold on. because my back is killing me. I think it's because of that spine shit. My back is killing me. My stomach is killing me. But yeah, man. I was not happy with myself. Tour, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Before I had cancer, I was depressed. Like, within three years of cancer, so that would have been 19, 18, 17, I was depressed. In 2015, I hit the lotto for $225,000. Cash explosion. And I still wasn't, I still wasn't happy. 
My grandparents wasn't around. I mean, that's like my trophies. It was my grandmother and grandfather. They weren't around. I still was depressed. I hated myself. I hated other people. This thing, I'm, I'm just here lying, lying to you. And then cancer comes. So guess, so guess how stressful that is. On top of being depressed, I still have to hang out with your friends and laugh and smile and act like everything's okay. It wasn't okay. I ain't gonna lie. But since I lost weight, lost weight, I'm happy for that. Because now I can be back to my old self from 2002, 2003. Just the older me. I have a birthday February 4th. I'll be 48 years old, man. So I feel good from that aspect. But now I have cancer again. And 50 50 chance I might live, 50 50 chance I might die. But I'm definitely going to put the work in. And now you need to put the work in. You need to do something with your life, too. Because I, I see a lot of fat ass truck drivers. You know who you are. I don't know if you just don't care. I mean, look at Trucker Named Jay. Look what happened to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is real. You need to take your life serious. I'm sure you got a spouse or maybe kids to rely on. I mean, uh, to they're relying on you as a as a as a father. I don't have any kids. I don't have any kids because I was a sick person. And it's selfish to go have a baby and give your baby all of these sick traits that you might have. Because I think somebody might have did that to me. But I'm not sure. I want you guys to do better, man. Because I didn't do better, bro. I am ashamed of myself. My brother with the two trucks, he works out every fucking day. And he's fit, super fit. He works out every day. Well, I just sit around and just be chilling. Doing things here and there, driving trucks. I mean, I appreciate, um, let me do a cash up, man. So if you can donate anything, anything you want to donate, I don't give a fuck if it's a 50 cent. You know what I mean? Whatever you feel is on your heart, I would have gladly appreciated it. Because listen, I'm not working right now. And I need to think of my next move of what's the next move? I gotta get Social Security. You know how long people have been trying to put me on Social Security? When I was in Finley, Ohio with the uh, asthma attack. People trying to put me on social security. Yo, you some of my family. You sick, you can't work, they you can't be driving trucks. Oh, it's dangerous. It's not fair to people on the road. You sick, something might happen to you out there. And I got mad for a minute, but in a way it was it was kinda right. But I know my limits, I know when I feel good and I know when I feel bad. Like I feel so bad. You think I'm going to go drive a truck and risk my life, let alone other people's life? I'm not going to do that shit. Like, 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 that shit wasn't cool. But it's over. I'm hurt that I can't drive trucks no more. I'm hurt that I might die. I really want to drive a truck. <laughs> I really want to drive trucks, bro. I love driving trucks. But everything in life runs, of course, from relationships to friendships to anything in life. Everything in life runs its course, man. I love you guys, man. I love trucking. Salute to all my truck drivers out there. 
stay safe on the road out there. It's winter time. I've been seeing crashes and truck drivers being killed at truck stops. And you gotta keep your head on your swivel, man. Just pray for me, man. That's all. Just pray for me. And guess what? If you pray for me, and and if you pray for me, I have so much prayer that I might just survive and you might just see me back on the road. What you think about that? Ain't that a great idea? <laughs> but until then, man, like I said, I'm gonna be making more videos, just hospital videos going, like I said, explain to you. Going to my doctors, hopefully I can get some footage of the process of what I'm doing. And you really begin a journey of the ending of my life or the continuance of my life. So stay tuned. Mad Trucker Max. Stay safe. Stay on your grind. No, I ain't, I ain't my slogan. Stay safe. Stay safe. I don't know what it is, man. I've been out of church. I've been stopping doing videos for so long, man. I forgot. But y'all definitely stay safe out there, man. And I will see you again the next time. Until then, I revenge you.